Welcome back. Week one, first game of the year, Ravens victory over the, the Browns. Uh, first video, finally finna come out. Finally, finally, finally. And it's about um, Tyree Phillips. You know, I talked to, to you guys in my post-game uh, video that I was going to do Tyree Phillips. As um, soon as the video came out, and it, it came out late, late, late Wednesday night. And so I kind of put this together throughout the day Thursday, and it's coming to you Thursday night. Um, and it's it was 7.43 now. I'm going to try to get this out. So you guys may have it out by the time, the halftime of the Thursday night game up against um, Cincinnati and Cleveland. But uh, let's talk about Tyree. Uh, Tyree Phillips, uh, first, I mean, not first round, uh, draft pick this year from Mississippi State. Um, we all thought, well, I know I thought Fluka was going to win the right, right guard job, but he won it. Uh, didn't play bad. Didn't play bad. Let's talk about some of his uh, blocks, you know, from the game. And I'm going to show you some a little later. On his down blocks, and those of you that know what down blocks are, basically you blocking to will be to his left, whether it be a double team or, or individual solo block. He was four or five, which you know for eighty uh, percent when he pulled, which he pulled left all the time because we didn't run any version of bug sweep, which means he may pull right or some kind of other pin and pull where he may pull right. But all his pulls was left that I saw, and he had a sixty-seven percent on that four of six. Uh, his out or head up blocks, which means he would be blocking right. Or straight ahead on somebody. He was 5 for 8 with 63% on that. Uh, outside zone blocks. Whether it be right or left. Um, he was 3 or 5 on that for 60%. He was 1 of 1 on a double team with. Um, I, I want to say that double team was with Orlando. But it could have been with the center. And, and I'm talking about a run play double team. Not a pass double team. Because he has multiple pass double teams. And then his second level blocks. He had one attempt to get to the second level. And he whiffed. So basically, he was uncovered and had to go. Had a linebacker as an assignment. He just whiffed on it. The guy was too fast for him, juked him out, whatever. And his pass pro, um, he was twenty of twenty seven for seventy four percent for me. But all my numbers gonna come with a, a asterisk on it because somebody else may score this different. He needs to finish all of these blocks, all of them. He, he needs to finish all of these blocks. So all these blocks happen where they're good. They happen in the first two to three seconds of the play. And there were some where he pulled off and maybe a guy maybe went and make the tackle. But because he was a rookie, I didn't count those as negatives. I count them as positives because he got his assignment and headed for two to three seconds. So, um, you know, maybe later on I'll be a little more harsh and count it as a negative. But for today, positive. And I know this was a long intro, but cue the music. I'm on Tyree. I just gave you the numbers and the percentages of the different blocks he had. But now let's get into actually seeing some of those things in motion or lack thereof seeing those things in motion but before we go any further make sure you subscribe to the channel uh hit the bell for the notifications and uh leave a comment or something in the down below so you know we can talk football i always talk football and i try to respond to all of my comments and again when you hit the bell for notification make sure you hit all so you can get these when they come out but without any further ado let's get into the film of uh tyree and his first start versus the cleveland browns Again, if you don't know where he is right here, right here, starting right guard, replacing uh, Matt Skura. I mean, not Matt Skura, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, did I blow that up? Replacing Marsha Yonder. I blew that up. Matt Skura's right there beside him at center. Pulling, which is one of the things he did good. One of the things he did good. And remember on his pull blocks, he was four of six. For 67 yards. And he always pull left because he's on the right side. Unless we run some kind of buck sweep. And I didn't see a buck sweep um, Sunday. But again, let's watch it. He's athletic, which helps him do that. Young and athletic. Good knee, Still have good knees. Still got a bunch of energy. Coming flat down the line. And he logs the guy. He logs the guy. If if this dude, if this dude right here. Let me, let me highlight who this dude is. If this guy right here had came up the field, 
Tyree would have to kick him out. But because he tried to squeeze down on um, Stanley, he turned he turned it turns into what we call a log block. So it's just like you're pulling, but you're trying to get on this outside shoulder so people can get behind you, whether it be the back or the quarterback or whoever decides to run this ball. See, look at it. He just turns the shoulder and turns it. Got that alley sealed. Now, I don't know who got this sealed out here, but Tyree did his job. That's what we focus on. Good long block after that pull and left a lane there for the quarterback. All right, let's move on to the second play. Bag it up. Got away from it quick. Second play. This is the fumble in which, um, in which, uh, record fumble. I think this is the fumble. Here's Phillips here. Let's watch. Let's watch and see what happens. Goes with a double team and whiffs. And then when you get to the second level, whiffs even more. Ends up on his butt. This is part of the bad. This is part of the bad of it. Comes off. Supposed to be doubling right there. Misses. Slides right off. Slides right off. Has the opportunity to maybe correct itself and get up on the linebacker, but he's stumbling now because he slid right off that double team. Missed that block. And even though neither one of those guys caused the fumble, they were a big part of it. It was three guys that really missed blocks on this to, to cause it to happen. Tyree, the center, and, and the goal. But we're looking at Tyree right now. Misses the double. Which he had he had he made that double, it's still tough because look at look at right here. Look at him split that split that block. But we ain't talking about that. We talking about Tyree. And then has an opportunity to kind of get better on the play and hit the linebacker, but it's falling forward and ends up on his butt. That's part of the bag. Moving on to the next play. Again, rookie now. First start. So don't be don't be too too critical. And I'm not gonna be too critical. Here he is right here again. What's this? It's pass pro, I think. Let's watch his footwork. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go back and check it out in slow-mo. Got a guy on his outside shoulder that he takes a step inside, so he's doubling with the center. Good base. Guy's trying to fight him off that left one. Good base still. Moving his feet. Moving his feet. Moving his feet. Mirroring the, mirroring the defensive lineman. Good job in pass pro. Good job in pass pro. Remember, his pass pro percentage was um, 74%, according to me. According to me. 74% effective rate. It's a good job of mirroring that guy. Whoever number 90 is. Good job of mirroring him. Go on to this next play. Let me mark them for you. For those that don't know or those that don't see right here. Now you got 98. Nah, that's bad pass pro. <laughs> that's bad pass pro. Let's see what, he, what happens. Slow it down. It's a good kick. Gets a second kick. So when this happens, when this happens, and what I tell guys, whether I coach O-line or DBs, when a guy arms, arm overs you, like the position this guy's in, you see how, see how this guy's, on, come on, don't act like that. What's the hold up? That was strange. Now, back. See how this guy's arm is up here? Like he's exposing all this up under here. You should take both of your arms and run him eight miles that way. He should go strictly that way. But it don't really happen. You know, it, 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 it'll get better at it. But he got that arm over, and now he's just going to use the back side of that arm to get him out the way. Because he has his left arm on Tyree's, on the the back of Tyree's right side. So now all he has to do is rip that left arm through and go on about his business with the quarterback, which is what happened. Now he's in chase position. He's off balance and in chase position just because he allowed that arm over to complete. When that guy does that arm over, you should arm over him to the next county because he's exposing all of his body. 
but he'll get better at it. He'll get better at it. And some people do it quicker than others. Some people do it quicker than others. I think Aaron Donald does it, but he jumps with it, so you can't necessarily get your hand on it. Which is, and that's what this dude trying to do. He's trying to do a little Aaron Donald move, and he don't do it great, but he does it good enough to get past Tyree. Aaron Donald talked about that little move on Hard Knocks, and I guess all of D linemen are gonna try to do it. But again, that's one of the bad ones. But luckily, we got a you know a, a mobile QB, and it 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 helps. It helps. Next play. Um, OZ block, outside zone block. Just mark him for those that don't know again. Right here. Not the guy going in motion, but the big line, 74. They run outside zone left. Or stretch left. Look at that O line movement. That boy, that thing perfect. That's that's synchronicity right there. Synchronicity right there by the O line. But he does a good job of what I call getting to the midpoint of this dude. So now he's at the midpoint. And anybody that tries to, to, to fit that gap, he can go get him while still helping on this dude. Which is great to me. Which is great. So let's say whoever this linebacker is was trying to fit right here with his first arrow was. He would be in great position to go ahead and block him. But since nobody's here, he's still helping uh, Orlando with this guy. Orlando needs to fight to get on the, this side of the guy. But he's still helping. Now, nobody shows up. The, uh, nobody else is here to block. Watch him turn back. Watch him turn back. Now, had for some strange reason, if the ball carrier was late, and because Tyree turned back and took that dude out, look at that alley. Look at that alley right there. He did his job. Even though the ball bounced, but he did his job. The outside zone look good. Only thing I like is this. I hate this penetration right here by Skrull. But we talking about Tyree right now. And just turn it on back. And a lot of, when I watched this game, a lot of his blocks were versus 98 and 90. Whoever those guys are. I think one of them is uh, Okinjobi or Obinjobi, whatever the, however you pronounce it. And I think I got one more play. I got one more play. And this is a good one. We're going to end on a good one. It's a pass pro form. Right here. Right guard. We're going to end with a good one. Look at that. Look at that. Good feet. Good feet, good base. Good feet, good base. Let's see it again. Tried to jump him. He stepped outside and tried to cross him, basically cross him over. Because of his good base, he ate that. Because of his good base, he ate it. He tried to jump back inside on him. And watch this. Anytime an old line, he should always have one foot on the ground. He should never be in a position where both feet are off the ground. He should always have one foot in the ground. And you really want to keep that right foot in the ground as much as possible so you can push off of it to go back inside when you need to. And he needed to in this, this instance. So he kicking. Kicking. And now, because he tries to come inside, let him stick that right foot in the ground and drive. Now he there. He there. Didn't give anything up. Drop his butt. He was losing a little bit. Drop the butt. Anchor yourself. And keep moving your feet. Keep moving your feet. He gave up. He gave a little ground. He gave, he gave a little ground. But for the most part, that pocket is, is, is intact. For the most part, that pocket is intact. And again, I'm going to run through these numbers real quick before we get up out of here. On his down blocks, which I explained it earlier, he was 80%. Pulls to the left, 67%. His um, out blocks or head up blocks, he was uh, 63%. Uh, outside zone type blocks, he was 60%. And the one double team that I saw, he was one of one with, um, I think he was with Orlando when he did it. Uh, second level blocks, he got his second level once. And um, I may, let me see, make sure I got that right. Second level block, he got to, he got that once and was not successful. But 0% on the second level blocks. And then his pass pro, he was 74% based off me. But again, all his good blocks are good, but the thing I would implement to Tyree is to finish those blocks. And stuff, you know, finish those blocks. He did a good job of blocking guys, but he need to finish the guys off. Play through the whistle. Play through the whistle. That's the only, you know, for me not being there and just seeing it on tape, that's the only judgment I can give him for being a rookie. Just play through the whistle. Because he gonna have mistakes. 
He gonna have mistakes. He gonna have good plays. He gonna have bad plays. He a rookie. He learning the game. He learning the game. But I think for his debut, I'm impressed. I like it. He won the job. Hey, let's go. Let's roll with it now. Let's roll with it. See if see if he can make you know get himself to all pro type type uh, standards because he's following some huge footsteps. But again, this is um first video of the year. Sorry it took so long, but it's not my fault. It's the NFL Network's fault. But they finally gave it to us, and now I'm giving it to you. This is Coach Evans with Sitting Tally Films. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, guess that ain't working. But like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.